Hi, welcome back to Smithy's Over 100 Golf Courses in a Year and today it's Wednesday the 9th of August 2023 I'm um, cat setting up near Newcastle for a week so what I've decided to do is I've played nearly every course in the northeast apart from the Colt course at Close House I'm going to go back over some of my favourites and it's what I've done is I've come down the coast and this is going to be course number 116 this year this is Hartlicle Golf Club played it a few years ago, I know it's really good Let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 116 of 2023. It's Hartlepool Golf Club on the tee. The man playing Hartlepool Golf Course for the second time. But he's never had a night out in Hartlepool. On the to-do list, it can't be any worse than Grimsby. From Kirkintillach in Scotland, Smithy. Right, this is the opener at Hartlepool and we're starting off with a relatively straightforward par 4, shortish one at 254. Six running down the left, wind blowing right to left. That's nice looking in towards the first green. Uh, it's relatively short but it's a stiff wind, it caused me a bit of trouble. Look back down the first, from behind the green. Glimpse of the sea in between the dunes there, clubhouse to the right. That's the second hole, and it's a long par 5, 525 yards, and it's into the wind as well, so oh, it's going to take an age to get there. Dog legs to the left, there's a ditch running along the, the left here, a couple of bunkers on the right hand side, and a green away up in the distance, and a dog leg open out of the second, and there's a ditch there, yellow sticks running across. That's still a good bit to go in the wind. No, I'm not going to reach this one in three. Uh, third toll at Hartlepool. Par four, 412 yards. Uh, slightly downhill. I'm up in the corner of the course. And it's going to dog leg down to the right. It's going to be a look round. It's a glorious morning here in Hartlepool. Another ditch running across. Unfortunately, I've found one of the fairway bunkers. Probably the first of many. That's a look into the third green. Oh, I just missed it. stopped short of the ditch. I didn't think I'd come anywhere near it, but there's a fair bit of roll in the ball. The course is very dry, being in the coast. And the wind behind in this hole. That's typical, I mess up the hole with the wind behind me, but now we're on to the fourth and we're back into the wind again. 385, fairway bunkers, and it's going to dog leg up to the left. So I can pick out the green a bit further up. Start getting closer to the green in the fourth. Another ditch running across. Bunker left and right at the front. Now we're at the fifth hole at Hallipool. That's a beauty of a par 3, 147 yards. Uh, across a wee gully bit there. I'll get the view of the waves to the left. And down towards the sea, one cut to the right hand side. Oh, a lovely hole. Oh, they're sideways onto the green at the fifth. Oh, I just missed a hole in one, that's as close as I'm going to get. Two feet past the pin. Oh, I just shaved the hole. Can't really see it, that's the sixth hole, 306 yards. Uh, blind tee shot marker post up there at the top of the hill. Uh, running along the side of the dunes. Oh, let's have a wee look round here, look at this. Oh, bit of surf. And that's heading up north. Here at Hartlepool, further down. And I come across the marker post. That's the view up to the green here. A lot of humps and bumps in this one. Tricky. Uh, hole number seven. Uh, it's a par three, it's a very short one at 90 yards. A wee bit of trouble in between. Dunes at the back there. Clubhouse away to the right. It's another wee look round, can't resist. Uh, high up in the tee box, it's high up in the dunes. Just walking down to the hole and you can't see this from a tee box. A big gully there sitting in front of the green, can't tell. Tremendous. 
is eight though, 407 yards, stroke index one. Got to play it across the rough there, onto a diagonal, and then it straightens up. So it's in effect a dog leg, way up in the distance. Look at the two just look back at the seventh green in the sea there. So we're up on the elevated T, playing our way down to the fairway. Towards the clubhouse, one behind 367 yards. Mostly straight, a little feed to the right. All the bunkers on the right hand side of the fairway here. And I look down to the ninth green, uh, so it dinks to the right, fairway does. I just finished the front nine. On to the back nine now, which is score Smithy against the golf course. Half a shot behind at the halfway stage. So I'm one half a shot above my handicap. Tight game. Really enjoying it, and this is the 10th, 357 yards. Straight down to start off with, slight dink to the right again, but this time rising up the hill and right towards the sea. And when you're climbing up a hill, approaching the 10th green, that's a blind shot to the green. So we look, up it comes. A view down to the green there, and I've hit mine to the left, unfortunately. Misdirected it. And this is down at the green, at the 10th. Lovely hole, as I said, it drops down, rather scenic when you get down here as well. Now here's a par 3.5, the 11th, 204 yards. And it's rising, uh, the green's above the level of the tee. Big gully there with the bridge across to pass over. So it's a dangerous one, so this is one for the stunt golf ball, Karen. And this is a look back at the par 3 11th. Some view from behind. Right across the beach, back down to the tee. Well, it's consecutive par threes on the back nine. This is 177 yards. Uh, 12th hole. Big drop down from elevated tee. And this will be the last day of the par threes. Oh, there's no bad view right down. Ah, uh, just going to go back the way as well. Take the view southwards, way down towards Hartlepool itself. I'll go across the rest of the course. And away in the distance, that's the first nine. And I look down to the green at par 312. Oh, it's some sheep green. Humps and hollows all over the place here in this one. I'm just a bit short into the wind. The 13th, Hartlepool 294 yards. Uh, straight down, full fairway off the right. And it's going to dink to the left. Hole, 416 yards, stroke index 2. Uh, that's the previous green there, so you've got to play right across onto the fairway, and it looks like stretching up to the left. And uh, getting towards the green, this is approach up to it. Oh, it's another lovely hole. Uh, 15th hole, half 370 yards, elevated T, and again another diagonal where you've got to carry the rough to get onto the fairway there. And it does dog leg a wee bit up to the right hand side. I'm going to slow up soon, I can see two four balls on the, the following hole. Well, I've reached the fairway, uh, it's a bit of a carry into a stiff wind. Would be okay normally without the wind. And it kind of curves round to the right hand side and the green still miles away. And we're on the 16th, uh, it's uh, 416 yards, par 4. Got the wind behind, uh, it's a tough finish, the last three holes, quite lengthy. Uh, straight down and then slight fade to the left. And this is the approach into 16. Big wall of grass at the back. Big bank there. I don't know what's above there. 17th hole, par 5, 480 yards. And then it's going to dog leg to the right further up. A uh, big fence down the left hand side. And strangely enough, when I played here, it must have been 2015 or 16. And this is the one hole I remember. There's a load of spectacular holes up in the dunes there that I can't remember at all. And for some reason, I just I remember this one. Nice enough hole though. Uh, dog leg comes out at the par 5 17th. 
This is a view up. Uh, a few big bunkers on the right hand side of the fairway. Now there's a few up towards the green as well. 18th final hole here at Hartlepool. Superb course. 380 yards, par 4 out of bounds on the left where the, where the bushes are. So I keep it to the right, into the wind. I'll pass away up the top on the left. What's the score, Smithy, against the golf course? Uh, despite two pars in the last two holes. Oh, I'm too short stiling in my handicap, so course wins. I can't make that unless I get uh, oh, oh, the knee here. I need a birdie. I don't think I'm going to get that into the wind. Let's approach up to the final green. Well, that's me just finished on the 18th of this superb Hartlepool Golf Club course. Have a quick look round. Back the way just to get a glimpse out to the, the sea there. I come back in, it's an absolutely superb course this one. Lynx course, uh, flatter holes uh, away from the seaside and uh, some really exhilarating holes uh, in the dunes complex. Kind of figure of eight course. Absolutely tremendous. The course is in fantastic condition, the greens are great, fairways are great, it's absolutely superb. And this course is holding the English Amateur Championship next year, co-hosting it. And the green fee, 40 quid in the morning, the late morning, and 25 quid in the afternoon, I think, and I've got on for 22.50 a James Braid rate. Oh, that's an absolute steal when you compare it with some of the other courses. It really is top quality. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a great challenge as well. The par threes are absolutely fantastic. Just missed a hole in one at the fifth. That was close. Only close as I've ever come to a hole in one. Uh, that's all from part one today. I'm going to see if we can get another game in further up uh, County Durham. So, catch you later. Oh, I forgot to say a mark. It's a big 10 for this. 10 out of 10. Great course. Get yourself here. Brilliant. Last time I played it, I didn't remember it as well because I must have played it in winter. In the winter time, uh, and it's a bit probably damp and cloudy. Kind of sunny today, very windy in places. Uh, just what an enjoyable course it is. Right, cheers.